It's um some time. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Huh? Blood rain! Ah! <laughs> Relax! Blood rain has red-colored water droplets. There are various reasons behind this. Around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried by storms mix with water droplets and clouds, giving rain its brownish-red color. In Kerala, red spores of algae called Trentifolia annulata got carried by wind and mixed with water droplets causing blood rain. While in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae got caught in rain clouds, got stressed, and produced a red pigment called astaxanthin, causing blood rain. Topic: Earthquakes. <laughs> what causes earthquakes? I, me, and myself. Yeah, yeah, you show off. <laughs> An earthquake is violent shaking of the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is a hard outer covering oh. made up of many pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving. However, the motion is very slow. In a year, they move only oh. two to five centimeters. <laughs> My hair grows faster than their movements. Huh? Absolutely. Mostly when these tectonic plates move, they brush against each other without causing great damage. However, sometimes they get stuck and cannot easily slide mm. against each other but the plates still keep pushing, oh. thus creating pressure. Eventually, the pressure builds up so much that one of the plates suddenly moves above the other, or they may crash into each other, causing the crust to shake violently, huh? thus creating an earthquake. Oh. Topic, pressure. <laughs> Why does popcorn pop? Because popcorn is a pop dancer. <laughs> nah. Oh. There are a variety of corn such as field corn, sweet corn, and popcorn. Oh. However, popcorn is the only corn that pops. Huh? Why? Does it have some magical powers? No. Oh. There are three things in a popcorn seed or kernel that work together to form a perfect popcorn. Those are an impermeable shell called pericarp right water content and starch. When we heat huh? popcorn kernels, the water inside oh. them forms steam and starts to expand, while the starch turns into a gel-like substance. Being enclosed, the expanding steam applies pressure on the shells. Eventually, when the shells cannot hold the pressure, they burst open releasing the steam and gel. When this gel comes in contact with air, <laughs> it rapidly solidifies forming fluffy popcorn. What is a migraine? A bad headache. Nah. Hmm? A migraine is not just a bad headache. It is often accompanied by other symptoms <laughs> like vomiting, <laughs> nausea, sensitivity to light, sound, etc. Hence, migraine is actually a multi-symptom disorder. Migraine headaches can last from 4 hours to 72 hours. However, the duration and symptoms may vary from person to person. Usually, the symptoms like food cravings, neck stiffness, yawning, constipation, etc. may begin before the actual headache. This period is called prodrome phase. After this, the phase called aura begins in which an individual may experience blurred vision, slurred speech, pins and needle sensations, etc. Then begins the attack phase when actual headache strikes. The pain is often only on one side of the head and is accompanied by symptoms like nausea, vomiting, etc. After the attack phase, when the headache subsides, the individual may experience confusion, fatigue, etc. This phase is called postrome phase. Hmm. Why do cats have vertical pupils? Wait, I'll explain. A pupil is an opening in the iris which regulates the amount of light entering the eye. Now, not only cats, but also predators like crocodiles, snakes, etc. have vertical pupils. Since these animals hunt in day as well as at night, vertical pupils allow a greater control of the amount of light entering the eye. 
greater than my round pupils? Yes. Round pupils in humans can change their area by a factor of 15, while vertical pupils can change their area by a factor of 135. Hence, on a bright day, predators can turn their pupils into narrow slits, allowing less light to enter and thus preventing their eyes from getting dazzled. Hmm? Also, when there is less light or in near darkness, the vertical pupils expand to a strikingly large extent, allowing more light and thus helping the predators to see and hunt more precisely. Hmm.